So I saved $2,209 to smell the same as somebody who spent $2,314. Oh my gosh. Finally, 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 part two, part two. Okay. Hi you guys, my name is Shardae. You guys, today is such an exciting video. But before we get into this video, I'm going to have to ask you to subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and like this video. But today is a long awaited part two fragrance perfume oil video. I am so, 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 so excited to share with you guys a part two new fragrances and um, a couple of additional companies so shall we just get straight into it so I ordered um, another order from fragrant body oils um, again you guys that is a black owned company um, I believe that they're in Florida and I went on their website and their info says that they've been in the fragrance community for over 15 years um, excellent customer service it's always packaged well um, what they do is they bubble wrap all of your oils and they also put a little um, uh, saran wrap around your oil as well so your oils don't leak anywhere I've never had any issue with shipping um, and so yes let's get into some of those oils okay so I also have here a tower and I got this tower from Amazon and what it is it is a lipstick holder tower but they're the perfect size for my fragrance oils um so shall we begin so this is inspired by Maison Margiela it is one of it is part of the replica line okay that is what this oil is inspired by this is by fragrance body oils and I want to give you guys an idea of what it smells like to me and then I have the top notes middle notes and base notes written down here so I can share with you guys the actual price of the actual perfume in store and in for retail and I'll calculate the total of what I actually spent and how much that I saved so this is bubble bath and this is actually one of my favorites that I purchased oh my gosh okay this smells so clean, like so clean, so fresh, like a fresh shower and you're just on vacation and you have the most beautiful bath products to use. You have beautiful um, shampoo that's like 40 bucks. You have like a beautiful um, bar of soap that's like from Diptyque or something like it just, or Joe Malone, like it smells that beautiful. It smells like a very expensive bath and I love smelling clean and fresh this is probably gonna be my go-to for the summer so let's get into the top notes the middle notes and the base notes so the price of the original perfume is 135 cha-ching cue the cha-ching okay it's 135 but I think I paid around eight dollars for this okay so it's uh, characterized as a floral woody musk and it was launched in 2020. The top notes are soap and bergamot. The middle notes are lavender, jasmine, and rose. And the base notes are white musk, coconut, and patchouli. But the patchouli is a very clean and beautiful patchouli. It's not one of those patchoulis that's overpowering or doesn't blend well with the scent profile of being clean and fresh. Like it, it just smells really, really, really good. I really love this one. So that is Bubble Bath and it's, um, the color is blue. They do do like matching colors to things. And that's inspired by Replica Mars, Mason Margiela. The next oil that I wanna talk about was not a winner for me and I was so disappointed because you guys, I, okay, back in my day when I used to be in Sephora a lot, I had this, like, I, I gained relationships with the workers at Ulta and Sephora. They just know me because it's right by my house. Um, and so we just, we had the same love for fragrance and we would go back and forth on, you know, new fragrances. Oh, have you tried such and such and such and such? So she had bought Killian's um, Black Phantom and I smelled it in the bottle and I was like, oh my gosh, that is probably the best smelling perfume that I've ever smelled. 
but on this okay it's a little bit better it just isn't hitting it the same as the bottle did and that's that's very rare um i just don't know i should have sprayed it and kind of judged it by then but it just smelled a little sweeter in the actual perfume but it kind of smells a little bit like medicine to me i'm not even gonna lie but in the dry down it got a little better um so this is black phantom so with black phantom i wrote down so the key notes are rum coffee and cyanide um sugar cane cane and dark creamy sandalwood so at first when i thought i smelt it and i liked it and i really wanted that bottle i smelt more so of the sweet creamy sandalwood kind of thing it was very like a sweet wood which it smelled wonderful but this one smells i don't know that cyanide that smoke in it is a little a little too much for me right now but i'm not going to give up on it i'm going to give it a chance so this is inspired by killian and this is black phantom oh and the original price of this is 270 dollars <clears throat> so my next can you guess by the color? My next oil is inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. This is a very popular scent right now. And I love this one. Oh, okay. Mm, okay, it smells like dark cherries that has a beautiful almond base that's sexy but clean. Yeah, like this is really pretty. Like this is, I feel like this can be a going, this could be a really good dinner scent. Um, So this is black cherry, or I mean, I'm sorry, lost cherry. It does kind of smell like a black cherry. But, um, okay, so Tom Ford lost cherry, it is black cherry, tonka bean, and almond. So I'm trying to see if I can smell the tonka bean. A little bit it's not a sweet tonka bean um it has some sweetness to it but it's not a like overly sweet perfume it really is like a true black cherry um mixed with that that warm almond and it just kind of ties everything in and makes it really just delicious okay so my next one is inspired by tom ford and it is bitter peach this is also a very popular scent right now and this one is heavenly, like, mm, it's so sweet, it's so juicy, like, it's musky, but fruity and juicy, like a, like a, like a peach slushy with, like, musk and beautifulness. Like, I can just picture somebody um, that, like I said, has the slushy, and they kind of smell like like a little bit of musk and vanilla and they're beautiful and it just they carry themselves well um yeah this is bomb this is super bomb so the the notes on this are peach divana and patchouli and i looked up what divana was because i'm like what the heck is divana it is a fruity floral and it's a tad bit woodsy um and in some cultures is used as an aphrodisiac so this okay lost cherry and bitter peach retail price the actual bottle will run you 350 dollars a piece bomb and very 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 close to its original i have smelt all of these and had samples of them this is very close if not the exact same Okay, so this one was really exciting. I purchased um, Aventus for Her by Creed. Um, also a very popular scent. I, I had a point in time last summer where I was obsessed with the scent and I purchased the bottle and I returned it, I think because it wasn't lasting long and I spent like $300 on that bottle. But this is really, really nice. I'm gonna put a little bit on. This one is very versatile. It's very, it's very sexy. It's very like bossy. Like this is very bossy and flossy. 
if that makes sense. Um, oh my God, it is so similar, you guys. It's maybe, it maybe has like maybe like one or 2% difference, but it's not a difference to where it would smell bad. I would say it's 98% close to the original. It smells very good. It, it's like a, a woman's cologne, if you will. It's very bossy. It, it exudes confidence. So, but it's also fruity. So this is the Aventus um, for her, for women, Creed. The original price is $405. It is described as an irresistible, fruity, fresh perfume. The top notes are patchouli, green apple, bergamot, lemon, pink pepper, and violet. The middle notes are sandalwood, rose, musk, and uh, styrax. I think that's probably a molecule. And the base is sweet peach, black currant, lilac, ylang ylang, and amber. Very fire. But also an acquired kind of smell. It's very nice though, very fresh. So my next one, I was really excited to get two. This is inspired. We're still in fragrant body oils, you guys. Okay, that's where I purchased most of my oils. We are going to talk about Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. This is this this jump to being such a super popular fragrance because everybody believed that Rihanna, this was Rihanna's fragrance. But by the time that everybody had purchased this fragrance, I'm pretty sure that she probably already switched to a different perfume. But it was rumored that she used this fragrance at one point in time. So that's where all the hype came from. And at first I didn't like it when I smelled it in the actual bottle because it, it's very strong on Neroleum Orange Blossom. That is like the dominant scent. And it kind of gives off like a bubble gummy kind of smell. Like, um, like Hubba Bubba or like, um, you know, like the pink bubble gum. It smells like a beautiful bubble gum, but then what kind of makes it like sweet and like feminine is the marshmallow. This is very similar to, shoot, it's a Mancera scent. It is called, um, this is very similar to <clears throat> a niche fragrance called Mancera Velvet Vanilla. It is very similar, except Mancera's Velvet Vanilla has um, a little bit more tuberose in it. I know, I think that this one has tuberose in it too. Yes, it does. They're very similar. Now, the Velvet Vanilla is way more bubble gummy, way more bubble gum than this one. This one has a little bit more depth. It's a lot softer, it's a lot prettier. You know what I mean? The other one is like bam, bubble gum in your face if you like a bubble gummy tuberose kind of smell. It just wasn't for me. But I do like Love Don't Be Shy. And the notes, okay, so the price of this is, the price of the original bottle, of the Killian bottle is $240, okay? The notes in this specifically is honey drizzled peach, Bulgarian rose, geranium bourbon, midnight jasmine, Madagascar vanilla, orange blossom, osmanthus, and tuberose. So it's floral, but it doesn't smell like a floral. It smells like it's like it smells like it's blended, like florals blended with sweetness and softness and just beautifulness. I love it. I don't want to put this on because then it's going to crash with that creative engine. But yes, bomb, you guys. Okay, you guys. So my last oil from Fragrant Body Oils is Cloud. Inspired by Cloud Ariana Grande. This has become a very popular scent because it is kind of a dupe for the very, very, very coveted perfume, Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, and I do think it smells similar. I do have Baccarat. And they smell extremely, extremely similar, except the price difference is that Baccarat is $300 and Cloud, the actual perfume is like 44 bucks, 58 bucks, I think max. It's very pretty. This can be worn year freaking round. And I also have Cloud, I think I bought the one ounce when I bought it. It's pretty much done for you guys. Oh. 
like it's pretty much done for um look at that there's literally nothing in there so i can i have something to compare right to the original and to the fragrant body oils and this is probably stronger but they're ex they're identical they're absolutely identical and very 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 nicely done I love that. I love fragrant body oils, you guys. You guys can put this in your purse. You can take this with you. You can reapply throughout the day without the guilt because who's gonna be keeping reapplying a $200, a $300 perfume all day talking about you gotta freshen up, you gotta freshen up like that's not the vibe. But you know, if you have the oil or you can have both and then just kind of touch up with the oil and just keep it on you and do it like that, so. That is the last one from Fragrant Body Oils. Now, I had a subscriber recommend. Now, I heard of this company prior to the recommendation, but the recommendation kind of like pushed me in that direction to just make the move. And the company is Oil Perfumery. And this is what it looks like. Very nice packaging, okay? very fast shipping um this is what the ball looks like it's a little bit smaller hold on okay so it's a little bit smaller than the fragrant body oils let's compare well it might be the same i think i don't know you guys tell me i hope it can let's see okay so you can kind of see here that this one I feel is just a tad bit smaller. Now you guys, as far as applying these oils, the fragrant body oils uh, packaging releases a little bit more oil than this one does. Now, you would think that not releasing a lot of oil is a good thing, but for me, I felt like I liked the applicator of the fragrant body oils a little bit better. Um, only because when I put these oils on, I'm putting these oils on, you guys. I'm not gonna be playing around with one little, one little thing. I'm putting the oil on my skin and on my body. I want this to like be embedded within my scent profile. You know what I'm saying? Like when I walk past somebody, I want them to be able to smell me. So uh, it just takes a little bit more as far as applying it now the fragrance body oils oil consistency is a little bit more oily too so it kind of spreads a little bit better on the skin but i do appreciate the purity and the quality of the oil perfumery um so i ended up getting um ver uh, one inspired by virgin island water by creed and before I purchased this, I, I had smelled it in sex a couple of times, I think. And it's very nice. It smells like a, a fresh drink of water. That's what it smells like. It, or not water, of a, of a drink, like a lime and coconut and beachy, like summer. Like this could be, um, this could be mixed with Tom Ford Soleil Blanc but Soleil Blanc is a lot more warm, but just imagine Soleil Blanc with a little bit more fruitiness and a little bit more freshness. So I, I love Soleil Blanc and um, the Creed Virgin Island Water is really good. Now, when I applied it, it did turn a little bit more limey on me. The lime scent kind of came out a little bit more, but I do appreciate, I love, you know, skin is out, just enjoying yourself by the pool, whatever. This is a really good scent to use. So that was really pretty. Oh. And let me read off the scent profile for that one. So for that one, the original Creed perfume for that is $310. Um, this is fresh and warm, which I don't really think it's super warm, but it says Jamaican lime and coconut are the key, the key notes, which I do agree on. Now the next one, um, is by Oil Perfumery as well. And it is inspired by Forbidden Games by Killian. Now, I really love this one when I smelled it in the store one time. Like, I thought it was beautiful. I still do. Like, wow. 
This gives off, a, I'm gonna compare this with Bitter Peach and let's see how, what, what they're giving. They're very similar actually. But this one has a little bit more musk, a little bit more depth to it, slight powderiness to it. And this one is very fruity and playful. Now, Forbidden Games is fruity, but, but I'm about my business. You know what I mean? It's fruity and playful, but it's, it's like I came to, to shut it down type of thing. This one is a little bit more fun, brunch with friends kind of thing. This one is like, I got my, I'm, I'm looking good, I got my clothes on, cute, you know, I'm looking cute, hair done, face beat, and this is what I have on, Forbidden Games. So I really love those. So yes, Forbidden Games. Now you guys, I love, Fragrance body oils, if you could not tell. Perfume oils, if you could not tell. Because, you guys, I calculated uh, the price of what it would have been for me to purchase all of these bottles, right? Because I love all of these scents, minus Black Phantom. Who child? Um, it would have came out to $2,314 to add those fragrances to my collection. Now, the total that I spent was, uh, so with Fragrant Body Oils, I spent $69.75, and with perf the perfu oil perfumery, I spent $36 total, so around $100. So I saved $2,209 to smell the same as somebody who spent $2,314. So yes, when I said that you can have the smell, the vibe, the confidence, the the that, the it factor for less on, on a budget, I mean it you guys. These oils are absolutely amazing. They um, don't have, well, Oil Perfumery reports that they are 100% alcohol free. A lot of perfume oils don't have alcohol, which can be harmful to your skin. Um, it's a lot better for your skin. You get moisturized as you're putting the fragrance on. They last about three to four hours, um, depending on the scent. And it's compact, it's versatile, and you can take it anywhere that you want with you. They smell absolutely incredible and for a wonderful price, okay? Okay, so you guys, I received these beautiful beautiful oils from this company and it is from the girl smile experience and she sells perfume oils and they are so nice look how nice the card is and she sent me a little note and then um she also named her scents for very positive um sayings she did that strength confidence self-love and the oils are absolutely amazing, you guys. So it came in this pouch and it, all of them came bubble wrapped. Um, so this one is, let's see. So this one is called Me, Myself, and I. Now again, you guys, she is renaming these. But this one is so nice. I'm gonna tell you guys what it smells like. And these do last a long time. I tried them out. This one is very pretty, fresh. It kind of reminds me of the Chloe perfume. It's very pretty, um, a little bit florally, but fresh nonetheless. It's gorgeous, honestly. Um, when I, when I um, the package came, I could smell all of the oils coming out of my mailbox. So this one is called Love All Over Me, and. This is the pink one, and this one smells like Barbie vibes, like, actually not mine. This one is very sweet, very musky, um, it kind of, it smells a little bit like the Nima, uh Amber Oil, but a little bit sweeter and a little bit muskier. I absolutely love this one. Um, it wears really well, and these oils are very good quality, very, like, thick oil 
Okay, and now this one, she did that. Because she definitely did that. She did that. Um, this one smells like the Dolce & Gabbana Lee Petit Treat, but it smells a little bit more um, candy-like. This one is so nice. It's um, way more playful than the other ones. The other ones are more like grown, sweet, but this one is very, very playful, and I think that it would pair really well with your summer scents. Very fruity, very candy-like. So thank you so, so, so much to the girl experience. You can follow her on, on Instagram at gsmile. Ex, uh, experience um, and I will link uh, her page down below so that was my honorable mention you guys thank you so much love you guys you need to go and buy these oils okay I am so happy to finally get a part two for you guys I don't want to just purchase things that I don't like just just for the sake of getting another video out, video out for you guys I actually love these scents bitter peach by Tom Ford lost cherry forbidden games by Killian love don't be shy um, Creed by Ventus Cloud, Ariana Grande, I have that one. You know, these are bomb scents that I'm recommending to you guys, not only for the companies um, to get them from, but also the actual scent profiles for you guys to try. So thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Continue to level up, continue to glow up, smell good, and look good while doing it. I'll see you guys later.